Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Isis Love. I had to hang up the last video and start again. Had like this sneeze attack, my allergies, but you know what, guys? I'm just I'm so happy and grateful right now to be on here, uh, sharing this live today, speaking about manifesting with crystals, right? The power in crystals. This is an amethyst crystal right here, but you know I always speak about using the earth to manifest right because we are the earth when you connect with the earth you are in an alignment with all and everything right when you are connecting with earth you're in alignment and when you're in alignment everything flows naturally for you so when you use crystals as teachers you can use them and help to help insist you in manifesting wealth and abundance see some of us are repelling wealth, repelling abundance. We're repelling it from us. Like some of us have like a blockage in the side of ourselves. Like energy blockage just blocking us from attracting, or should I say, blocking us from from tapping into our own abundance well within. We have our own wealth well within of abundance. So, um. So, you know, it's, it's very important that we learn how to use these crystal teachers. So, um, I'm going to go over a couple of crystals that can help you assist in bringing more abundance into your life and keeping you in the, the you know, energy of money. Because the thing is, money is just positive, pure energy. So, what some of these crystals do is they help you keep a good mind frame, right? A upbeat type of energy, right? It helps remove blockages, stagnant energy. It helps you release any type of like lack. Or see, right now the planet is in a scarcity type of mode. The planet is in like a fight or flight type of mode, and we have forgotten who we truly are and how we can manifest at will. All right, and the crystal teachers can help us, like. Before my video got cut off, um, I spoke about, you know, computers being charged by crystals. Like, if you open up your computer, some of these cell phones, you know, they're being charged by crystals. Like, that's how powerful crystals are. Like, they're very, 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 very powerful. So, you know, and you, you should probably write this down, right? Because you need to go get you some of these crystals so that you can stay in the vibration of money. You can keep them in your purse. You can keep them in your wallet. Um, I have them. I have like a money tree on my desk. So I keep some in my money tree. You know, you can wear it. Um, just keep it around you, right? So one of them is a uh, pyrite, right? Some people call it fool's gold. But it's pyrite, right? And so pyrite is very, very, very good with helping you stay in a vibration of money. Matter of fact, um, I created a, um, it's called Prosperity Magic Bath Salt. And so inside of this Prosperity Magic uh, Bath Salt, it's called Sweet Abundance. And so it's filled with, uh, and see, baths are so important, especially Women or men, it doesn't matter, but baths are very important, right? And so when you have your crystals and then you use the Prosperity Magic uh, bath salts, oh my gosh, it amplifies your intentions because you can manifest when you put an intention out. So what I put inside of this is uh, red clover, um, burdock root, rose petals, Epsom salt, black sea salt, healing clay, um, lots of love, lots of essential oils, sweet orange, um, frankincense, tangerine, lots of yumminess, and this and it's charged with pyrite, so it's being charged, and um, you know all you need is a little bit to put in your bath. Um, some of you guys may have a pyrite crystal already in here, and you can keep it with you. But um, I just wanted to put that out there. Like these are the new. Uh, now I have the bracelets and now I have the bath salt. So I'm super excited about that. But first and foremost, the first crystal is a pyrite. 
right? So the pyrite is very good keeping around you. Like what I recommend you do is you keep some of this pyrite in your purse for sure, right? Keep some of this in your purse because it will help you every time you open up your wallet, you just tap it into the, that energy, tap it into that money crystal, you know? Another exercise that you can do is, um, you know, take a piece of paper and um, write down, you know, write down the first time you realized that money was a problem, right? Write that down. Like, write down when was the first time you felt like money was a problem, right? And then the next thing you should write down on that piece of paper is, like, what triggered it? Did somebody say something about it? Like, what triggered you feeling like money was a problem, right? And then... What I want you to write, the third thing I want you to write is your desired amount. How much money do you monthly? Right? Write down your desired amount. Don't focus on your current situation. Focus on what you want. Take that piece of paper, put your pyrite crystal inside of that piece of paper, right? And let it just sit. The full moon is coming up. It'll be a great time to do it. And just sit this in the window, you know, on the full moon. Let it sit there for three days. Take the piece of paper, burn it, and everything shall be as is written, right? So this is a very good crystal. I love this one. Another crystal that you can use is citrine, moss agate, uh, ruby, jade, um, green adventuring, tiger's eye, even amethyst, right? So this one is amethyst. So... Seriously, crystals are powerful, you guys. So I would really, you know, recommend that you get you some crystals, you know, especially if, um, and program them. Program them on what you want them to do. Like your word is like a sharp pencil ready to write your reality. Every time you speak, every time you use your tongue, right, you write your reality. So use your tongue and... Put the intentions into these crystals and program them what you what you want them to do, right? So, if you have a problem and you have a some type of relationship with money, see, money is my best friend. Like we go back, like me and money. Ooh, when money come around, ooh we, ooh we. <laughs> so you know you gotta become friends with money, right? So you know program the crystals, like. You know, what I say is when I get my crystals, I'm like, hey, look, I'm so happy and grateful right now that I am, you know, bringing in $10,000 a month residual. Like, I'm so happy and grateful right now that I'm bringing $10,000 a month residual. Like, speak into these crystals, right? Program them, carry them everywhere that you go, right? So I just wanted to come on here and, and also let you know that, you know, crystals are used for a lot of other things, good health you know, protection, um, you know, if you have any type of respiratory infections, you know, it helps with lungs. They're so beneficial. So I really, really encourage you to do some research on some crystals, get you some tomorrow. I know it's kind of late. I don't know where you're watching from. Maybe it's early for you, but go get you some crystals, right? Because you want your money tree, right? You want your money tree popping, Right, you see that you you want your money tree popping, right? You want it popping, so have you some crystals around. Also, tomorrow, you know, you can go ahead and pre-order. These are going on sale tomorrow. Like I said, this is my sweet abundance prosperity magic bath salts, um, black salt, healing clay, Epsom salt, essential oils, nice herbs for the skin. Oh man, just some magical stuff. You can add this. Uh, to some candles, a nice hot bath, um, maybe some slow meditation music, and just have your crystals in the bath. And what I want you to do is I want you to really, 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 really focus on what it is that you want to manifest. So before you get in that bathtub, you probably already want to have written down what you want to per se manifest. And men, it's good for you to take baths too. Like, it's good for you just to get in that bathtub, just relax. Some of y'all probably need it because y'all out there, you know, providing, taking care of the house. Some of you guys probably just need to soak in a bath, right? So, 
you know, definitely DM me. They're going on sale. I only have a couple of them. Right now, I just have the Sweet Abundance flavor. Um, I'm going to be having a mint and a another type of flavor. So, definitely you can pre-order today. Um, you get a little special discount if you pre-order today. But they're going on sale tomorrow. So, you don't want to miss out on this. I'm actually going to take a bath myself. I had such a prosperous week last week. Last week. You know, um, just because I've been taking these baths, I've been meditating, using visualization meditation with my crystals, you know, just like really working with them and really just seeing what I wanted, like seeing, seeing everything that you want. Like if you're ready for a brand new house, like seeing that house, like when you're in that bathtub or when you're working with your crystals, like just manifest it, see it run across your mind like a commercial. Right, you know how we watch the TV and we see these commercials and it just runs by, running, runs by. You gotta program your mind with your commercial. How do you want your life to play out? Right, just see it, see it with your mind. So if you get in a bath, you use some of the salt. You got your crystals. You speaking love into your water, giving thanks to the water. Cause some people don't even have clean bath water. Like that's crazy. Right. So what we do right now in this now moment paves the way 12 generations for it. Right. 12 generations. Right. That's the movement. It's about consciously preparing yourself in this now moment to make the right choices, because the choices that you make today is going to affect 12 generations forward, right? And by you tapping into wealth and abundance, by you curing out any generational curses around money, you free your bloodline in your DNA 12 generations back, right? So that's what we're about. Me and my movement is about supplying people with tools and, um, and teachers to help us Keep ourselves in the vibration of money and remind ourselves that we are the money, right? Like, don't get sidetracked. Like, I know we got all these goals and we got all these places that we want to be and do. But don't forget that the, the real abundance is you, baby. So the more you can focus on your energy, the more you can bring your vibration up by using the crystals, right? By using the bath detox, right? By using these two different type of things, you keep your vibration up and you keep yourself in alignment with earth, right? So it's been a pleasure sharing this information. I hope you guys go out. Start taking more baths, connecting with the earth. And if you want to go ahead and pre-order for the special price for the uh, bath detox, definitely let me know. I love you guys. You know, have a magical, magical day. All right? 12 generations, baby. If you want to get in the movement and, th and you feel like this is your financial year, if you feel like this is your year that you're going to, this is your last year working, if you feel like this is your million dollar year, if you feel like this is your year to hit the jackpot, definitely hit me up. Um, get a part of the movement, man. 12 generations, like, it's a rap family, all right? So, peace.